Hi, I'm Joseph McClendon III, and you're watching Further Faster TV. I'll be your host for the next little while on the show that is designed to help you do just that, go further faster in your life. Kind of a new little twist on personal development, if you will. And because this is the very first episode of Further Faster, when I come back, I'm going to tell you a little bit about who we are, what we're going to do, and what you can expect. So as long as you've got a desire and a curiosity and a willingness to learn, then you came to the right place. So strap yourself on tight. I'll be right back. Well, welcome back. Again, I'm Joseph McClendon III, and you're watching Further Faster TV. And again, because this is the first episode, like I said before, I'm going to take a few moments to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm not so arrogant as to assume that you know me or know anything about me, so I'll take a few moments to kind of share with you what even qualifies me to even be talking to you. And then I'll tell you a little bit about the show, what to expect, what we're going to be doing in the episodes coming up and in this episode. And I may not know you personally, However, I do know that if you're listening to me now, if you're watching this, then you at least have a little bit of a curiosity about maybe making some improvements in your life, some changes in your life, growing or going further faster, and in the five or six areas of life that I'll explain here in a little while. A little while. And if you have, if that's what you, if you want, then you've come to the right place because I got something for you. And I first want to thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share with you something that's very dear and near to my own heart because uh, as I'll share with you a little bit, a gift was given to me some time ago uh, and it's my turn to give back. So by trade, I'm what's known as an ultimate performance specialist. And really all that means is through workshops and seminars and live interventions and one-on-one -on -one interventions uh, and conventions and things like that, I help people get the very best out of themselves. And uh, what that means is, is then through whether I'm doing corporate events, I, I taught at UCLA, the U University of Southern California for seven years in the human development and personal development part in the, or, uh, the department in the engineering and management department. And I share that with you because I've done the whole spectrum, if you will. People come to me either because they're not doing so great and they want to do better or because they're doing great and they want to do better. Either way, people want to do better, self-included. And I've had a bunch, a whole lot, incredible amount of unbelievable mentors in my time that have shared with me a piece of their heart, a piece of their wisdom, and a piece of their experience that has helped me go further faster in my life. And my gift back to them and to you is to share that as well. And having said that, I don't assume anything about you other than, like I said before, that you're here because you, you want more in your life. I don't assume that you're doing bad. I don't assume that things are not so great for you. I'm just assuming uh, that you're here. However, I shouldn't say that. I do assume one thing. And I assume that you are, shall I say, a cut away from the norm. And not that you're better. That just means, because I don't believe that any of us are really better than, than the other. I, I do believe, however, that Oftentimes, there are certain ones of us that go a different path, and the herd will go one direction, and somebody else may go the other direction. And those of us that dare to take another path are generally those that take another, another path and grow and learn are generally those that succeed, if you will, on a major scale. So if that's what you want, again, that's, uh, that's what we're here for. And uh, I've had the privilege, if you will, of coaching and mentoring and guiding, if you will, some pretty high-end people, for lack of a better term, some movie stars and actors and actresses and, and uh, sports figures and even some royalty, if you will. And again, I'm sharing with you all of that, not to brag or to boast or any of that stuff, but just to kind of let you know, again, what qualifies me uh, to be here and to be talking to you. And uh, I also share that with you because I come from a place I want you to know what's possible. 
What I mean by that, if you know anything about me, my background is uh, I was homeless once in my life and I had uh, nothing really. And somebody came along, without going into the whole story, somebody came along and, and, and showed me personal development. And I'll share with you what that means here shortly. And uh, as a result, it changed my life. And when I went back to thank him, and ask him what I could do for him, what he told me was, I've got to do what I'm doing right now, which is to share as much of what I've learned as possible for the rest of my life, and of course, that's why I'm here. So having said that, let me share with you a little bit about the show. Further Faster is a concept, if you will, that I have been uh, um, doing for some time now. And what that means is, is that all of us want more. That's part of human nature. It doesn't matter whether you're at the bottom or whether you're at the top or anywhere in the middle. You want more. It's human nature. It's part of our makeup. It's part of our nervous system. From the day that you're born, you were designed to grow and learn. Human babies, you know, they're always putting things in their mouth and testing things out because it's an instinct. It's a need, if you will, that we have to grow and to learn because at some point in our lives, we know instinctively, and remember, every animal has instincts. Instinctively, we know that we're going to have to be self-sufficient at some point. So our creator, if you will, instilled in us this need to grow and to learn. And as a matter of fact, that need is so strong that when you stop growing and learn, learning, statistically, your lifespan, your average lifespan after a person stops growing and learning, like they retire and do nothing, five years before something happens and they are no longer with us. So my encouragement to you is <laughs> always be growing and learning. And the reason I share that with you is because for the most part, most of us, most people, the herd, if you will, are going on the same path. And the way that they're learning and the way that they're growing, or, or I should say, uh, perceived learning and growing is television and the media. And unless you've been living under a rock, you know that that is not necessarily uh, something that serves us in terms of, of helping us grow. And as a matter of fact, in my personal opinion, oh, don't get me started. It helps us go, fa or go, go further backwards uh, faster. And that's not what we want to do. So and I, again, in another episode, I'm going to delve deeply into the evils of the what I call electronic income reducer called your television set. And, uh, but however, here's what you hear, and, and part of the reason, by the way, the reason why uh, I wanted to do this show, we wanted to do this show, my partners and I wanted to do this show, was to offer another alternative a better alternative, if you will, there that there will be some growth, there will be some learning, and and uh, a place that you can go and you can you can take some things and and apply them to your life and grow. Having said that, here's what the show is about. It's not just about me just talking and you me telling you stories and learning some things, because I've had such a background in what I do and I teach you know, around the world, literally around the world, several times a year. I have a, uh, a health convention that I do in Geneva, Switzerland, and seminars all over the world and everything. And I work with, uh, I'm sure you know, of, of, uh, one of my business partners, Anthony Robbins, and I've been working with him for almost a quarter of, literally, actually over a quarter of a century. And the reason I share that with you is through that process, we always share things. I always you know, teach people things. And what I learned is that oftentimes people will go to a one-day seminar and they'll learn something, and they'll come away and they won't necessarily do something about it. So this is kind of a, a friendly reminder to, to break some things down so that you can take what you've learned and, and do something with it, if you will. And as I said before, there are really five areas of life, I say six areas of life, that people are looking to grow in. And, and when you master these areas or, you, or there's growth in all of these areas, then life tends to be happier and life tends to go smoother and things tend to flow towards you more. And those areas are mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, and here's the one that a lot of people leave out and don't necessarily consider that much, but here you are right now, and it's one that I'm a, I've got a huge, huge interest in, and I've gotten it down to a science, for lack of a better term, and that is the area of attraction, attracting things into your life. And I don't just mean oh, the secret and all that stuff. I mean, literally, influencing the universe around you in a very specific way to create more uh, to make yourself more attractive, not just, you know, looking, uh, but so that the things that you desire and want uh, grow to your life. So, I want to introduce you first to a concept, and the concept is, uh, is uh, something that I use all the time, no matter whom I'm with, so I can always make sure that we're on the same page, meaning you understand what I'm talking about, and w without any question about it. 
And what I mean by that is that I call it LCD, lowest common denominator. And that means to break it down so that everybody all the time knows what, we, what each of us are talking about. So I can oftentimes, I can say something like psychology. And you may have an understanding or a belief or even a definition of what that means, but it might not be what I'm talking about. And for the most part, sometimes, especially I've found in this field, uh, of psychology. Most people don't have a real true understanding of what that is. So I like to simplify things. Matter of fact, my, my belief is the simpler, the better. And what I mean by that is as you go through your life, what you generally find out is the efforting and the things that you've done so much in the past, it all comes down to in the end, there's just some really simple things that you do and the simple things are the ones that usually get the results. Yes, there are going to be complicated things, but in terms of our, our personal development, it's the simple things that work. As a matter of fact, it kind of reminds me of how I, how I remember learning this lesson uh, years ago. And I remember I was sitting down and I was having some sushi many, many years ago, probably almost 30 years ago. And I was, better than 30 years ago, and I was sitting down and I had never used chopsticks before. I had tried them and I thought these things are so foreign. How do people eat with these things? As a matter of fact, I remember one of my Japanese friends said, well, that's why Americans are so fat, because we eat with shovels. <laughs> and uh, so I, was, I couldn't figure out how do you eat rice? How do you, how do, you do this with, uh, with these little sticks? So I was sitting here just efforting away and I was just working really hard trying to make this, these things work and just you know had one of these going on my face and freaking out a little bit. And I was looking around and looking at other people and then all of a sudden, the guy behind the counter said, hey, just relax. Just calm down and relax. And just hold it like a pencil. And it was interesting when he said that, and he said, it's really simple, just hold it like a pencil and, and pinch your fingers like that. And he, you don't go into it, but he showed me how to do it. And what I did was I relaxed, and because I relaxed and I looked at it simply, then I was able to do it. And now, I almost prefer eating with chopsticks. I truly do. We'll get into that here a little bit later. So having said that, personally, what I want to talk about is, what I want to tell you about is, is the whole concept of personal development and because that's what this is all about this show you know, uh, is about bringing to you the tools the strategies the techniques and even offering you some experiences and some exercises and things that you can do so that you can personally grow if you will in whatever your, uh, area that you deem and what that means is is this personal development most of us have this this idea that personal development we think of you know growth and things like that but I want to give you my definition of what it is so at least on this show you know exactly what Joseph McClendon is talking about all the time personal development is simply this and if you've heard this before please no matter what I say or anybody else says always 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 hear stuff again for the first time and not to segue too far out of it, it's really important that you understand that concept. Hear everything that you hear, hear it again for the first time. Do not make the mistake of going, oh, I already know that, because so much will flow by you. I read the same book, Think and Grow Rich, every year from the time I was 19 years old to the time I was about 33 years old, and I still read it. We just started it again in, in one of our mastermind groups a couple days ago. And I still read it, and every single time I read it, I got something new, or I remembered something, or so on and so forth. So, hear it again for the first time. Personal development is simply this. Rehearsing whom you wish to become, or who you desire to become. Let me repeat myself. Write this down. And by the way, I didn't say this. Oh, I can't, can't believe I, I forgot this. Whenever you're talking to me, Whenever you come on this show, make sure you have at least your, your laptop or you, you have something that you can write on. Uh, you can, I, I like journals that you, you, you physically write something down uh, because I want you to take notes. And, and I'm not going to give you a whole lot of notes, but something very, very simple again where you can have something you can go away with it and, and, uh, and, and have it in front of you and I'll show you what to do with it. So personal development is simply rehearsing whom you wish to become. What does that mean? What that means is in the future, Let's say you are successful at whatever you're going after. And by the way, success is whatever you deem it to be. Whether it is making more money, whether it's losing weight, whether it's gaining weight, whether it's having a better relationship, whether it is buying a boat, buying a car, whether it is giving to charity, whether it's building a school, whatever it is, that's your success. It's your own business. But when you arrive at that place where you go, I did it, I'm successful, or I made it to where I, where I want to be, you're going to be a different person than you are right now. You might think you won't, but you will be. You'll talk differently, you'll believe different things, you'll actually see things differently than you, than you did before. You'll probably dress differently, you'll walk differently, you'll have a better or different attitude about yourself than you are right now. It might not be that much, but it's going to be different. 
So the trick is, is to see where you want to go. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you a formula or a system to do that. See where you want to go and start rehearsing being that. Now, does that mean that if you want a Learjet in the future, you should get a Learjet now? Of course not. What that means, though, is the person that has that Learjet is going to have certain beliefs. And again, I'm a little, getting a little ahead of myself because what I want you, to do, want you to know is we're going to be covering those areas of how to develop those beliefs and how to develop those strategies as we go on. But just conceptually understand that the person that you're going to be is, there's probably out there somebody, 99% of the time there's somebody out there that's already doing what you want to do, similar to what you want to do, or something very close to what you want to do, 10 times, 150,000 times better, faster than you are right now. So here's a real clue, a real, tr real cute little trick, if you will. Go find that person. You know, we got this great little tool called the internet. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it. I hear you can get it right there in your computer. <laughs> And you can find out about almost anybody. You can model that person. Again, something, another concept we're going to be talking about. But you can model that person. Find out what they believe. Find out who they talk to. Find out what they read. Find out the things that they do in their life and do those th same things and rehearse them. And there's a difference between rehearsing and just repeating something over and over again. Rehearse those things now because as you're rehearsing, just like any musician or actor or actress or sports figure or anything, they rehearse. And as they're rehearsing, they develop a skill. And as they develop that skill, they get closer and closer to being that person they want to be. So said differently, personal development is finding whom you wish to become, finding the beliefs, finding the, the, the words, finding everything about that they can, and start rehearsing the person you want to become. In your mind, rehearsing everything that you can, using the kinds of languages that you're going to be using later. Believe it or not, it works. Things change around you. And as you rehearse those things, then you start to change along the way. And here's the trick. As you start to rehearse, you start to rehearse and things get better faster. Hence, further faster. You start going further faster. You become that person faster. And as soon as you become that, then you start to attract more of that. The closer you get to this outcome here on the end, the more you start to attract. As a matter of fact, if you've been to any of my workshops, and I hope to see you at, uh, at some of them soon, I always say to people, you're not a human doing, you're not a human having, you're a human being. If you be first, then you'll do more and then you'll have more. Sounds silly, but it's really, really true concept. So the name of the game is, again, rehearsal. And let me give you just a little bit of a hint. I said to you before that rehearsal, and I'm going to dig deeper into this on another episode. This is just the first one, kind of just laying the groundwork, if you will. But the whole concept of rehearsing is not just doing something over and over again. It's doing something with enthusiasm and excitement and joy about it because it instills in your nervous system that you want to do it and it becomes more natural. So again, personal development is the person that you want to be that is rehearsing whom you wish to become, and in the process you'll be developing the skills, the beliefs, and all of those things to become that person. So, now you know what personal development is, and that's what this show is about. So, having said that, let me share with you the first thing that we're going to talk about, and, and again, as I said before, if you've heard this before, or heard any parts of it before, I hope what I can bring to you is at least one of these two things. Number one, if you haven't heard it before, I hope I bring this to you that it's lights on for you and you go, wow, I never thought of it that way. Or number two, if you have heard of it before, it will remind you of what to do, how to be, how to feel, what to do about those things. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the whole concept of get ready for it, here it comes, here it comes, wait for it, wait for it, here it comes, here it comes, look where you want to go. If there was anything that I could tell you, and I could tell you a lot of stuff because I've learned a lot of stuff. And by the way, I wanted to share with you, um, I, in this position that I have, for lack of a better term, after almost 30 years in this personal development business, for lack of a better term, um, I have the privilege of, of uh, again, having been in front of over two and a half million people now. and. And people often come to me and they say, my goodness, you know a lot of stuff. And, and my goodness, you, you must have the most incredible life. And I do have a great life. However, I'm still human. <laughs> and there's areas that I look to grow as well. And when I meet you, which I will, because some of you I'm going to see here shortly at uh, an event coming up. When I meet you, I guarantee you there's something you can teach to me as well. And so I'm not so, again, so arrogant as to assume that I know it all. I know this particular uh, 
uh, space, for lack of a better term, just as you know your favorite space. So again, I hope you'll allow me to coach you and mentor you in that way, and I know you will. So the concept of looking where you want to go, know your outcome, all of those things that we say is so, so important. And, and it's the one thing that what I've noticed in anybody that either they stand up in a seminar and ask me a question, or they'll write me a letter or an email, or they'll pay me a lot of money to coach them, <laughs> or whatever it is, or they'll hire me to talk to their company. The one concept that I have found, or the one area that I have found that most people are lacking the most in, is this, an, this area of knowing where they want to go. Exactly where they want to go. Now, if you've heard me speak before, I spend a lot of time on this and, and, uh, and dig deep into this, but this is the most important thing. Because, again, even in the person that you want to become, whether it's a person that has money, this is the person that has the better health or, or wellness of all those things, you've got to know you got to be able to look. Listen, your eyes are on the front of your head for a reason. And if this sounds elementary, we got to be elementary at the very beginning. And if you know it, then teach it to somebody else, for God's sake, because there's a whole world out there that needs this stuff. And the whole concept of not just looking where you want to go and saying, okay, that's what I want and I wrote it down, but continually revisiting it and making it a vision, as we will talk about, making it something that lives with inside of you, will make your body, your nervous system, your actions, your activity stand up and go for it without you having to remind yourself to do that. So, my assignment for you on this first episode, the thing that I want you to do, the thing that I want you to consider before you show up here for the next episode is to, and I, as again, I have a laptop, I got computers and, and uh, and my iPhones and all electronic gadgetry. I even got a great little thing in my iPhone now that I can just talk into and it writes it down. But there's no substitute as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing better than the old, do you remember the, uh, the old pen and paper? <laughs> and if you think it's too hard or you think it's you know, a waste of time to do that, then you and I got to talk. Because the reality is, is when you physically do something, when you fi your, your hand physically does something and puts something on a piece of paper, which is another physical thing, not just a digital thing like that, it literally speaks to the universe, if, if you'll allow me to get a little bit cosmic on you, speaks to the universe, and the universe says, this is a very, this is a thing, and let me send more stuff to it. Again, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So what I encourage you to do is to write it down. So if I'm going to give you an assignment, which I'm going to do, and please show up at the next episode with this, and that is your assignment is to write down whatever it is that you want, where you want to go, a year from now, five years from now, and 10 years from now. And what I mean by that is you might just say, well, gosh, I want a whole lot of things. Well, then write a whole lot of things down. I'm going to share with you what to do with them. As a matter of fact, that's where a lot of people fall short. As a matter of fact, that's where a lot of people don't do things because they don't know which one to do first. They don't know what to decide on first. And if they don't know what to decide on first, then they have what I call paralysis of analysis. Or as my, uh, one of my business partners, Andy Broadway, calls it decision constipation. And we wind up going in circles or enough, doing nothing at all. And that is one of the biggest hindrances in, uh, in, uh, in modern man and woman nowadays as far as I'm concerned. So. The name of the game is, is uh, to write it down. So that's your assignment. Write down, make a list of everything that you want, get it out of your head, and get it on paper. It's going to work wonders for you. Now remember, these little, tiny, simple things that I'm going to have you do, believe it or not, are the things that people pay me a lot of money at the risk of sounding arrogant for doing. And they're the fundamentals of the things that when you show up at uh, one of the workshops that we're going to be doing, uh, uh, when you show up there, you're going to be ahead of the game because you're going to have some of these things to do. And if I don't see you, you got them anyway. And, and what I encourage you to do is don't take this lightly because too many times, like I said, most people will go, okay, well, you know, I, you know, I want to do this, but I don't know how to do it. I, and I'm telling you how to do it, the first place is to start right here. It's a place where, where most people don't leave off. So having said all of that, let me recap. Number one, remember this. And, and every time we, every episode that we do, we're going to have a new subject, for lack of a better term, to talk about. And uh, so, and it's always going to be, as I said, it's going to be lowest common denominator first. I'll introduce you to the subject and we'll talk about it a little bit. And then also, I'm going to give you a little bit of an assignment. And what my encouragement to you is to do three things with this assignment. And that is to number one, do it. No matter what, as silly as it sounds, you're spending this time here right now with me and I appreciate it more than you know. However, 
just sitting and listening is only part of the game. It's only going to get some of the results that you want. It'll get a little bit of results, but if you really want to go further faster, if you really want to be ahead of the game, if you really want to be ahead of the pack, if you really want to get what you want quicker, then do these simple things, if you will. So, number two, write it down, or that's, that's the second thing, write it down, write down everything that you want, that you want to make happen, get yourself like a little wish list going, I'm going to show you what to do with it. And the third thing is, and I'm saying this because it's something that it took me a while to learn this. And, and I'm certainly not ashamed or embarrassed, but I will say I should have learned it sooner in my life. And I wish I would have. Remember earlier in the show I said that uh, when I went back to the gentleman that, that was so kind and, uh, and shared with me the whole concept of personal development. And I asked him, uh, you know, what can I do? What can I do to give, to give back to you? He told me that I've got to share it. Well, the truth of the matter is, is I didn't start sharing it for several years, probably four or five years. I did a little bit, but then when I got it, that, that the, the whole concept of, of sharing with other people and contributing to other people does a few things. Number one, it makes you feel good. And, and that's the name of the game. In the end, by the way, that's all you want. You know, you know, the money and all that stuff aside, you just want to feel good. And it helps you feel good because, again, I might not know you personally, but I do know that you're the kind of person, if you're listening to me now, you're watching me now, the kind of person that would probably do more for others than you do for yourself. I know some of us beat ourselves up and say I'm selfish and things like that, but the reality is that most of us, we want to contribute in that way. And this is one of the easiest, quickest, fastest, and best ways is to contribute is to share things with other people. So if you've got anything out of this, which I hope you have, you know, share it with other people. I don't necessarily, you can send them here to the show. I, I hope you do. However, you be the teacher. You have my permission to whatever I share with you right now and go, hey, I was watching this nut on, on a Further Faster TV and he shared with me some things and uh, he said it was okay and I learned this. If I write down what I want, especially if I make a list of everything that I want, then it's going to start the process of attracting that stuff into my life and helping me feel better and I'll do more and start to, to uh, trigger my nervous system to take more activity and anything that I've said, so please pass it on. Tell them about Lois, comment on it, whatever. Even if it's just the experience of how better, how you feel, share with as many people as you possibly can. You become the teacher because the teachers in this day and age, you know, honestly, and this is certainly, certainly not to put down on teachers. However, I will say that some of the things that need to be taught are not being taught. And again, before we go, I want to share with you, I said to you at the beginning of the show, I read the book Think and Grow Rich every year from the time I was 19 to the time I was 33 years old and we just started again and even this time when I started listening to it we're doing it with a focus group that I have and uh, or mastermind group and as I was listening to it I, I literally had tears in my eyes because I remember again wow I remember this stuff and then I looked back on my life and do you know that I've set my life up according to that book and by the way, all I'm doing is sharing some of the stuff from the book here. I do that. And that was one of the first things, the first assignments that I did uh, in there was, and I set my life up in that way. And as I look back on it, I've developed, I've become the kind of person I wanted to become. And I hope that doesn't sound boastful or, or like I'm bragging or anything like that, because I've still got a long ways to go. And the reason I share all that with you is if you'll, if you'll allow yourself and if you'll allow me to coach you in this way, then the things that you're doing now, Five years from now, you look back on your life and go, wow, that's a regular habit that I have right now, if you don't have it already, of writing down everything that I want and then following the instructions about you know, distilling it down to the, the most important things and, and making those things and, and, and stimulating my nervous system. And that's the way you become. You know, I was the kind of person prior to doing all this stuff that I would procrastinate, I would hesitate, I would, you know, fear of failure, fear of success, all of those things, just like everybody else, just like most of the rest of the world. And the interesting thing is now, that's not part of who I am. And I don't know what you want. Maybe that's an area of your life that you want to change. We got something for you there. You know, I was also the kind of person that, that felt that I was unlucky. I was also the kind of person that felt like, you know, good things happened to other people and not to me. Well, that has changed. And as you'll get to know me and, you know, I'll prove some of those things to you now. So, so again, those are the things that I want for you if you want them as well. So I hope you've gotten some value out of this. And remember, so, so you'll, you'll get the notice on when the next show is coming up. And I've had a good time at this. Remember, this was just the first episode and we're going to have many, many, many more for you and many more things for you to do. Please do not take the assignment that I gave you lightly. It's very, 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 did I mention very, very simple. However, it is essential. Remember the five areas, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, and attraction.
So make sure that as you, you know, as you're making your list in those areas, what do you want? It's worth it to do that work right now. You know, you only had to learn how to read one time and the rest of the time it's been just improving on that learning. Well, this is, you know, baby steps in the very beginning. So I hope you've had a good time. I hope you've learned something. I hope this has been valuable to you. Nah, I don't hope. I know it is. The hope place is down the street. This is the do place, baby. So as I always like to say, remember, life is exactly what you dare to make it and fortune favors the bold. So boldly step up and dare to make your life magnificent. I'm Joseph McClendon III and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Further Faster TV. Bye-bye.